Today we are making a giant chocolate Pikachu, a giant white chocolate Pikachu, a white chocolate Pikachu surprise with sprinkles. This turned out perfect. Like, I can't believe how perfect it is. So let's get started. My name is David Boreanis. Let's see, who is that guy? Why did he pop into my head? Angel from Buffy. That's who David Boreanis is. He was just on an American Airlines flight and his blanket was dirty. Now to create this giant white chocolate Pikachu, I'm starting with about 24 ounces of yellow colored white chocolate. It's $5 more expensive than the Wilton's candy melts. Um, and it didn't taste any better, so just use candy melts. I'm thinning this out with some vegetable shortening. You can use coconut oil, you can use some other stuff, grapeseed oil, you can just use canola oil if you want to be ghetto. <laughs> I've done that before, I'm pretty ghetto. I just added it into my bowl and then place it into the microwave. How much shortening, you're probably asking yourself? I don't know. I didn't measure how much shortening I put in it, probably like like that much or like take some out okay like that much i took it out of the microwave it was all ooey gooey and liquidy wow imagine drinking that and then having it solidify in your belly oh, don't do that now i have a cake board i placed my pikachu silicone mold on top and that's probably the thing that you're gonna want to buy because if you don't have this then it's just gonna look like a really big piece of chocolate now here's something really interesting because you can see my thought process through this pour. Originally I was going to create a giant solid white chocolate Pikachu, but while I was pouring the chocolate into the mold, I realized, stop, you could put some sprinkles in it. So I stopped pouring the chocolate and I actually just picked up my silicone mold and started to move the chocolate I had already poured around the mold. So I moved all of my white chocolate around the mold and started to create my white chocolate shell. I couldn't get all the way up to the edges, so I'm using a paintbrush and just working the white chocolate all the way up to the top. Once I finished, I placed it into the freezer to chill and let this layer of chocolate harden. Then I took it out and I repeated this process seven more times just to make sure that this hard shell of white chocolate would not break if I took it out of the mold. Um, after about the 10th coat, I got really lazy so I poured the white chocolate into the Pikachu and I worked it around the way that I did the first time and spilled the excess back into the bowl. It was a long process, it was so boring. <laughs> but it's gonna be worth it, I promise you. I decided to make the ears and the tail solid pieces of white chocolate. I was scared that they were gonna break off, and so I figured that they needed a lot more support, which is why I did it this way. So I filled them to the top and I just scraped away the excess white chocolate. To seal in all of the sprinkles and the gumballs and the sixlets that I'm gonna put inside this, this Pikachu mold is gonna need a back. So I placed some of my white chocolate onto a piece of parchment paper and just spread it out with a spatula. I created a template of the back of the Pikachu with some parchment paper and just placed it on top. And then I started to cut out that shape with some fondant tools. It doesn't have to be perfect, not at all. Into the freezer this went. Now I've created a ton of Pokemon stuff on this channel, a ton of cakes, but also treats. And my favorite treat by far are the Pokeball apples. I love them. They're only like half dipped in white chocolate, so you still get the sweetness of just the apple on top. And then you got the creaminess of the chocolate on the bottom. And you can dip different apples, so it looks like you have different types of Pokeballs. If you're looking to throw a Pokemon party, this definitely has to be a part of your menu. Then I took my Pikachu mold out and started to add sprinkles. Now I'm mixing a whole bunch of stuff, not just sprinkles. We got some Jimmy sprinkles, we got some Sixlets, we got some Pearl sprinkles. I only added red and white because those are the main colors on the Pokeball. So I just sprinkled all of them in and just mixed them around with a spatula. Look at all of that unhealthy goodness. Who's gonna eat all the sprinkles? I don't know, probably nobody, cause it's just there for decoration. You can eat them, obviously, but I don't know if a doctor would recommend you eat all of them. 
I don't think any doctor would recommend you eat any of this actually. <laughs> After I finished adding in all of my sprinkles, I took the back of my Pikachu, kind of separated the edges. Then I grabbed my Pikachu mold and placed it on top. And I'm just gonna use some of that white chocolate and cover up the edges. By this time, most of the chocolate had solidified just a little bit, so it was really easy to pipe it out. I scraped away the excess with a cake scraper, and this was a moment of truth. The flip. Did it come out right away? No, it didn't. Very carefully, just removed it from the mold, and voila. My giant chocolate Pikachu. But I decided to create all of his features with fondant. So I created the inside of his mouth, his nose, and his eyes. I made sure to add black to the tip of his ears, as well as some brown to his tail. My giant white chocolate Pikachu was complete. Look at that. I love this because I didn't have to carve anything. It's not a cake. It's a giant piece of chocolate. I used a mold and it came out perfect. Look at this, he's so cute. And when you're ready, you can take a fondant roller and just bash him on the head. And then when you open it up, you got a boatload of sprinkles. There's some talk that this is gonna be the beginning of a cinematic universe, so we might end up seeing Ash and Misty and Brock. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. From what you've seen in the trailers, do you like the way that all of the Pokemon are animated or do you think they could have done a better job? I'm pretty happy with it. Well, some of them. I don't like the way that Eevee looks. But let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!